Okay, why is the me time important? This is why I say time is important. Um, me time is not just about relaxing. It's not about um, de-stressing, although that's important. It's about having time to think. When I first moved to the Philippines, it's the first time I had time in a long time. Um, and I mean that because in the UK I was doing 16 hours a day. Um, I had a partner that didn't like going home to an empty house. So long day, get home, house is empty. Haven't they switched the lights on, cook me own dinner. And then she'd call to say, oh, are you home so I can come home? Not the greatest scenario to be in. Uh, the way she is, I'm not too fast. I'm not negative on it, but it meant that my day was always extended because although she could have got home and prepared meals and stuff so for us both coming home, it ended up getting dragged out because I wasn't able to uh, have that facility. <laughs> so your day's always longer. So by the time you've done your long work day, had your dinner, and cooked in had your dinner, did all the washing up, etc. You're tired and go to bed. And then I was working at weekends, I did on call, I did, you know, working all the time. No time. Now, the reason this, when I was talking about fishing, I started doing fishing again um, a while back. And that's probably why I ended up splitting up with my ex, etc. If you start getting time to think, and time to think can be dangerous or it can be very positive. Um, in my case, it's been very positive and it's why I'm here promoting it because that's sitting down fishing, A, de-stressed me, but also got me to look at my life and where I wanted it to go um, and a few other things. But when I went to the Philippines, because there's very little work in the area, you get that time back because I was now married to my beautiful wife, April. Um, we had no kids at the time. So what happens is you're sitting there going, how can I make money? And in the Philippines at that time, didn't need a lot of money to live. We could live on 5,000 pesos a month, which isn't a lot. But you're sitting there, you know, you know I'll do a website. So you're doing your website. And that website um, was making reasonable income. It was, it was making about four to five thousand pesos a month then. Um, invested a bit of time in it, got better at it. Um, and that became a regular income. Now that same regular income still exists today. It still makes me about a thousand dollars a year. And I haven't done anything with them since at least 2012. Not bad, is it? $1,000 a year for the last three years without uh, putting anything in. Now, if you look at investments um, or what the banks are offering these days for 1% or even a, a hefty 5%, how much money would you have to save to get a 5% return a year to get $1,000? And that's why these things can be very useful and it comes from having the time to do them. But it also takes the time to think up how you're gonna do it. So if you take that and then it's like, oh, this year, um, was it start, start of last year, I started dabbling with YouTube. Um, YouTube videos make me money every month. So, We'll just say it makes $500 a year. Not big money. How much money would it take to get $500 a year from, um, what do you call it? Saving money for a pension fund. Because all I'm looking for to live in Spain is a thousand euros a month. So there is the first one half thousand dollars. And I don't need to do anything for it. It's going to be continuous. Comes from this. Comes from sitting down thinking. Comes down by sitting having these conversations where we go, okay, got this idea. This can make you money. 
Um, and, th and this is why I keep saying to people, put a bit of time in. Do some of these videos. If you're a truck driver, video the road. I'm not being funny, but sometimes you have accidents in front of you. YouTube will have all that stuff. I'm not saying anything gory, but you know, even somebody just pranking in a car. Um, YouTube love it. Same as uh, if you if you have a job in a factory, maybe it's worth filming the automation system. People are interested in that sort of stuff. Everybody's interested in something, and you'll be surprised what makes money on YouTube because. I still haven't got the formula down. That's why I'm not only making 500 a year on it at the moment, not 50,000. <laughs> but I don't mind because the fact is, like I'm saying, it all builds up to a small income on a regular basis. And it only needs to get to 12,000 euros between everything. And I'm nearly there already. But the fact is, it all comes from creating that little bit of time for yourself which disconnects your home life, your work life and you just have your time because you can't have your home life going on or your work life because they distract you from your focus it also means that you're not getting a bit of time where you've got no stress going on you may not be stressing your home life by the way but you're not having time to think and that's the important bit you really need to create a little bit of me time where you can lock yourself away for half an hour to a day, you know, so you can think up some ways to get yourself ahead in life. And I know some people are like, oh, I can't believe this. Well, don't. But I'll tell you now, it works for me. When it, Right now, I'm sat in Spain and I'm looking at options to make more money. What do I do? I spend a bit of time with people around me, uh, working the network. I sit and think of things at night when it's quiet, just sitting there pondering on how to do it. And sooner or later, I get that little eureka moment where I've got an idea and I just plug it in. It's like I said, these YouTube videos. I just had an idea last uh, January because work wasn't starting till February. I thought, you know what? I'll try, some, I'll try doing some of the videos on the Philippines, see what happens. And that's what started this. And now, a year on, a year and a half on, it's making regular cash. So, was it worth it? Of course it was. Because these videos will stay on YouTube. And when I go back to work next week, they're still making money. And passive incomes is the things you're looking for. It doesn't have to be in stuff that you do day to day. It can be anything. Um, it doesn't always have to be a passive income, by the way. Uh, prime example of that is the guy I was talking to tonight about doing computer repairs. Because it's quite a, a large elderly community where he lives, um, looking at offer services there. And the thing I said, well, it's not only that. You can do things like Meet the Mouse. Meet the Mouse courses are like very basic. Teaching people how to do emails, write the first documents, and know how to USB stick very very simple stuff because the big problem with today's technology all the generations struggle with it because people don't give them the time and patience to learn that's why there's cash in it sitting there with 10 retirees um every wednesday all paying a little bit makes you a few quid in your pocket but it makes them a little bit smarter, a little bit wiser on computer equipment. And also means that they can Skype their families, they can email the families, they can do their first website if they want, they can learn photography, whatever it is. You don't have to be an expert, because quite simply, you already know more than they do, and that's all you need to do. You need to transfer your bit of knowledge that says, okay, does everybody know how to switch a computer on? Do you know what the monitor is? Do you know what the PC is? Do you know what they, how to connect your computer together? 
what happens if it doesn't build? You just walk through it. Same as people can bring it in and get the virus cleaned or whatever. All comes from developing these ideas. And the ideas all come from your time. That little bit of time where you have time to think about things that you like to do, want to do, and can make you some money. Thanks for watching.